To understand how quickly bacteria become resistant to even the most powerful drugs, we visited Harvard University biologist Michael Bain. He showed us an experiment first done in the lab of Roy Cashoni. On what looks like a miniature football field, Bain pours a solution containing ciprofloxacin, or cipro, a broad-spectrum antibiotic. This has no antibiotic This has no antibiotic. antibiotic. This one? This one has just over what the bacteria are able to survive. It should kill them. It should kill them. The next pool? Ten times as much. Okay. A hundred times as much. The center zone exactly of the table a contains a thousand times more cipro more. than bacteria should be able to survive. Then BAME drops E. coli bacteria at both ends of the table. There are about a million bacteria in there. Okay, in that little drop. In that little drop. So the bacteria start at both sides and they race to the center. In just a few days, some of the E. coli bacteria figure out how to resist the cipro and survive in what should be a deadly environment. And if you look very closely right here, they're starting to grow into the center. Which is the by far the strongest antibiotic. By far the strongest. Stronger than you would ever give to a patient. Exactly. And yet they're beginning to evolve, to mutate. This is evolution happening. Each one of these little things that you see on it, that's a mutant. That's a mutant that's developed resistance and started to grow. That means that the E. coli has already outwitted Cipro. In 12 days. Each time we take an antibiotic, bacteria can develop the same kind of resistance in our bodies, which is why the overuse of the drugs is so dangerous. Americans are among the highest consumers of antibiotics in the world. More than 250 million prescriptions are written every year, one third of them unnecessary, according to the Centers for Disease Control. 